Hello everybody, Silver Pyro back. Feels like forever. I kind of um, been having issues, honestly. My armor looks the same, not the same. I uh, went to the Nether, and oops, one too many times. I went to the Nether, died, and lost everything, tools, all that. So uh, I've been trying to get it back, but uh, I got. I went for Rarmor instead because I thought maybe, you know, try something new instead of the Neotech. I thought the Rarmor was better. It has its ups and its downs. I mean, it's got crafting, so I don't really need this anymore. Um, it's got extra storage. It has power. And the power is, I don't know what's going on with it, but the durability has been, like, going down every time I log in. It's supposed to have... You know, 250,000 durability based on, you know, power. Every time I log in, it seems like this number keeps going down by like about 100. So, and it never was near the max durability. I don't know why. But I think maybe a bug. Um, but anyway, was also kind of at a loss for what to get into. I wanted to get into Botania, but that's not in the pack yet. I mean, not that I saw. And so I thought, you know, get into something nice and big. Abyssal Craft has been, some people have been wanting to get into it. But the first thing I need is Necronomicon. And there are actually upgrades to it. So I don't know what this... PE is I literally know diddly about abyssal craft but these are like oh for each of the different dimensions I think is what these one these other ones are and they also require the previous lower one in order to get but we need, let's see, we need uh, six rotten flesh, two iron ingots, and a book. Not a problem. I has, do I has book? Or do I just need to make it? I think I just need to make it. Am I, am I not seeing it? Is it in here and I don't see it? Nope. Okay. Need to make it. Let's see. Book. Rotten flesh. I know you. Ha I know I had a bunch of. There it is. So I don't need the paper anymore. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Uh, iron. Iron. Give me the irons. Rotten flesh, iron, book, Necronomicon. So, whoo, achievement. Let's see here. Forbidden knowledge. Mod, which this book is used to guide you through the da 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 main influx on the expo exploration. That's cool. Something you don't always get. With four new dimensions you can explore. I know it's got like, was it like five or seven different biomes that it adds to the game? Through use of gateway keys, create portals between the dimensions. The fourth dimension is reached by falling out of the third dimension. Uh, sounds scary. Wait. Oh, okay. Overworld has been expanded with six new biomes, the Darklands. Nor well, I thought it was... Uh, and the Corallium Infested Swamp. I haven't found that. I found several different plant or several different Darklands. Five new types of stone and 15 new ores. Introduces its own type of magic through the use of rituals in order to worship the great old ones. 
Also, machines that allow you to transmute, crystallize, and materialize objects. That sounds like that's going to be fun. A coin engraver. This section is incomplete. Lovely. Rituals. Uh, so this is an economic a book written by, also known as the Mad Arab. The book contains knowledge about the great old ones, their names, and how to summon them. There is also information about spells and rituals the book can perform. Necronomicon itself is a chapter of the Abyssal Nomicon, which was read by a demon known as, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, who had composed the Abyssal Nomicon from infinite knowledge known to the Great Old Ones. Okay. Four types of ne Necronomicons within the Abyssal Nomicon. Uh, yeah, we saw that. In order to unlock the knowledge, one must travel to said dimension and empower the Necronomicon with the flesh of that world. The Abyssal Nomicon contains additional knowledge known only to yeah, knowledge man was not meant to obtain. Okay. Regarding ritual, it uh, says... I am going to read through this a little bit more, and I will see you guys back when I... Because I don't want to bore you guys with just a bunch of reading. So I'm going to see what exactly I need to get doing, and then I will see you guys back when I get to doing it. I am back. I did some exploring. I did a little bit of upgrading before I went exploring. I, If you notice, I have a slash blade again, and it is actually uh, the sharpness white. Uh, got into a little bit of a fight with some zombies and such. Um, found nine Corallium gems, which is kind of important for Abyssal Craft. I don't know if uh, you guys know anything about it, but apparently you need a lot of... Let's see here. You need a lot of Corallium pearls, which you get from corallium infused stone which you get from uh, uh, da, da, da. oh you gotta do gem clusters oh no you can do the the single gems I think but smooth stone granite diorite uh, andesite and variations of them as long as it's um, one of the one point I think these are 1.8 stones as long as one of their raw forms or polished forms or smooth stone I think it even works with any combination of them um, you do have to have nine in the center for that I'm hoping I can get you know just have like three or do you have to have nine total gems in order to get a Corellium infused stone. We'll find out here in just a little bit. Uh, dire, no. Let's see here. Diorite, diorite. Or andesite. Andesite, oh crap. I've got a load of it. Let's see. If I do this, can I just do... No, okay. So you do need, oh wait, I have to do the clusters. So how do I do the clusters? Okay. I wonder, can I do just this? I'm going to find out. Before I make that last one, we're also going to find out if I can just do bonk. Okay. That makes a little... It actually makes quite a bit of sense. Somebody who did something right. Can we do it this way? 
No, I don't want a six. No, I don't want you either. Brain not functioning today. Okay, so no on that. So it looks like I am going to have to make three three clusters and oh all right put you back there I need more corallium then because I think I'm gonna need more than one corallium pearl well I know I'm gonna need a lot of corallium pearls but <sighs> this is gonna be used for energy pedestal very important Oh, I did not get any shadow gems. Crystalliz no, no, don't need crystallization. Um, and the shadow gems are dropped off of the different shadow mobs, which are in the dark lands, I believe. which I have not actually been in very much. So we are going to see... Oh, wait a second. I needed... I'll be right back. i got to look something up real quick. All right, so a couple of things. One, I wanted to do... I, I need to get this set up first, actually. I wanted to do this out of um, Abyssal Night, but that's going to be a pain to do so I am instead going to set this up I believe cobblestone works or it might have to be stone bricks but we're gonna see this is supposed to be how you set up the ritual altar set there cannot be anything inside of the ring and I think the first block or ring of blocks around the outside as well but you set it up in this configuration and smack that nope nope okay so it don't work with that so that answers that question where did my pickaxe go there's my pickaxe I'm gonna leave those there for a minute and I am going to come over here and get do I have stone bricks I do not but I do have smooth stone so that should work. I needed, what was it, let's see, three, six, nine. Well, that's going to have to work. Give me that back. Hopefully I'm not a complete idiot. This should work. There. Give me you, give me you, give me you, give me you. Or maybe you are the problem. Give me you. There, there. There. There, there. There, there. There. And bonk. No. No. What the? Why are you not working? What am I doing wrong? Getting started just cobblestone. Okay, so torch had to be the problem. Torch had to be the problem. There, there. Yes, complete derp. Uh, what else is new? <laughs> there, and... Why are you not working? Work. Maybe. 
You? No. Read. Read. Wait. You know what? Daytime. Give me a day. Give me the daylights. Mm. Okay, now read. Rituals, information, getting started. Da da. -da. Okay, so I have it in the right format. Keep the colored area clear. It's clear. It's plenty clear. So why you no worky? Now I got pig in the way. Die. I said die. Give me your stuffs. Getting started. Uh, shift right click the center block. Okay. I knew I was doing something wrong. There we go. Woohoo! Achievement get the dark arts. Bissell craft set up. Now I need to get shadow gem so I'm going to get I because I've heard that that's gonna could take a while I'm gonna get uh, shadow shards or shadow gem what uh, fragments or whatever I'm gonna get enough of those to make a shadow gem and then I am going to because I also found um, well I found several monoliths I actually I uh, don't know if he put it up yet, but there is a video that uh, Clobber and I getting our butts stomped by some Shogoths, uh, one of the monoliths. Um, they just kept coming. <laughs> uh, they would not stop. But I am going to get a ritual pedestal, or not ritual pedestal, that's a ritual pedestal. I am going to get the Shadow Gems. And then I am going to, what is, I need more than just that to show. Where did everything go? Where did all the Abyssal Craft stuff go? I mean, there's a bunch of it right there. Okay, that was weird. But I am going to be getting... Ritual personal, not you. Not you. Mm, where's that? Not a sacrificial altar. Energy pedestal. Need to get this. These are dropped. Does not say. But anyway, need to get a bunch of that. And I will be right back so I can uh, do the next step. Well, unfortunately, due to numerous deaths and... Uh, other time constraints. I have kind of run out of time to get that I set myself to get this episode out. So I am going to have to finish or continue on in the next episode. Be sure to keep an eye out for that. Um, this is a rather large mod anyway. Um, one of the few big one big mods that we actually have. But uh, I'm going to have to end the episode there. So if you like what you saw, show the like button some love. Poke it right in the eye. If you really liked it or you want to not miss out on future episodes, show the subscribe button some love too. Poke it right in the eye as well. 
And if you want to help me grow, make sure and share the video on all your favorite social media. And don't forget to check out the other members of the Riot Craft Group. Links to their channels will be in the description below. And I will see you guys after I find my body. Later. Later.